Today our club chartered a bus to go visit a bunch of fish stores. So today is the bus tour for my club and I was running a little bit late so I'm joining up with the group now and we're heading into Frank's Tanks. This video is going to be vlog style because I just want to kind of show how the day went. There's not a lot of heavy editing and not a lot of narrating either. Gotcha! Hey, Marky. Hi everyone! <laughs> this is the fish store closest to my house. It is so close I could walk here. We're not on your live stream, are we? Nope. <laughs> this is all uh, recorded. House. We're going there next. We're going to your house? Yeah. So, Keith. So, Mark. I um, want to join the bus tour for the rest of the day. Why are they hiding? It was not date night, you know I would do it. Dude. I can't even know how much time Frank has several very nice reef displays in his store, but that doesn't mean he doesn't sell out of them. So you may see something you really want, just let him know, and he'll sell it to you. This frag tank is being lit with T5s. And this tank is being lit with radions. His 450 gallon reef is looking really nice these days. Yes. This is a 450 gallon reef in the back of Frank's tanks. Unbelievable, pretty, pretty color. I was looking, I was like, they look better than the actual colony. That is the biggest Walt Disney I've ever seen. It is easily standing five and a half inches tall. Okay, so we were in and out of there. They were actually running late because of all kinds of traffic and there was all kinds of uh, construction. So I'm going to run to my house really quick, make sure everything looks good. And then people are just going to see the tank for like 10 minutes and they're out of there. So the bus unloaded 35 people into my living room. And we had a toast. Here's to phosphate, here's to nitrate, here's to five more years! <laughs> and as soon as we emptied our glasses, we got back on the bus and headed to Oceans Avenue in Arlington. So I hitched a ride on the bus. Uh, I got to figure out a way back home. I don't even know how I'm getting home. I might be Ubering home. So now we're at Oceans Avenue. We just had a barbecue, which is great, and beer, so it makes me happy. And then we're gonna continue from this. I just picked up an A-can because I wanted a new coral for my tank, and I haven't had A-cans in a while. I mean, I have some, but I, I didn't have these, so I got some new ones. These guys have been in business for some time now. This is their second location. Uh, they moved to it because it's larger, and it's a better location, and they sell both saltwater and freshwater. All kinds of cool invertebrates in here. I love exploring this store. And they grow out a lot of coral fragments for us to put in our tanks. There's so many words on these tanks. I feel like I should read them rather than shop. I'm always joking around. So if you hear something and it bothers you, please take it in the intent it was meant to be that I was trying to be funny. Thank you. Just need a little bit of video, sorry. Okay, go back to your conversation. 
Back to your conversation. <laughs> I love seeing the coral growth on the egg crate, but it makes it unsellable. That one's really nice. Sense of scale. Eh, this is the one. I like that. No, this one. No, this one. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Beautiful frog spawn. And I really like this one. I think that's a dragon eye Fabia or dragon soul. If you don't like your urchin picking things up and moving it all over your tank, just clip it to the edge of the glass. Oh my god, there's a cute little tiny Yashagobi. And shrimp pear, and a mandarin, wow. Which one are you looking at? That kind of looks like a Halloween crab to me right there. But I, he's not orange, he's blue and black. Yeah, we have one of those in ours. That coral bandit's really adorable. He's so small compared to what you normally see. Oh yeah. Well, I think ours was even like that. I forgot him, he's more than the giant. Yeah, they'll grow into something massive. Those claws right there tell you that is not a good crab the, to have. The coral banded? No, this big beast of a crab. No, it's labeled. It's just a crab. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this guy here, he's bad news for a reef tank. See those pinchers? You cannot trust those. Yeah, what kind of shrimp or crab is that? Super duper cute. You know, the, the shrimp always has its antenna against the fish. If the fish twitches, the shrimp knows to retract. So look again, look really closely, and you'll see the antenna from the shrimp is touching that striped fish the entire time. He's keeping track of where that fish is. And I got it on camera. This tank is screened off to keep anything from jumping out. Let's try that again with a correct filter on the phone. So this chalice is actually pink in color with those yellow spots. Some beautiful Rastas, some Mercordia. Oh, and look, I haven't seen one of those Pseudochromas in a long time. Those are the expensive ones. a really nice BTA. Some, I'm sure, high dollar Acans. And look at the size of this gold flake maroon. It's not even a gold flake, it's just a gold maroon. And that is a beast. So there's something in this clear water over here. I see the Fido. You know, I love seeing pictures printed on metal. It looks amazing. After a shot of Crown and the purchase of my Acan, we then headed to the next store uh, across town, which is called Glass Aquatics. Did you see me waving to you from the bus? Yeah. <laughs> we'll start back. What do you got? We got hermit crabs, uh, 
Dinosaurus, we got Astria, we got Leptosaurus. Very nice. Usually that's offensive to these kids. That's a walking dendro. Yeah, it was for me. He's so small. That little tiny one. Oh my god, he is so cute. <laughs> so many. I kind of want one again. A DIY Ketomorpha reactor. These bus tours are so much fun as our club members get together and just hang out in one store after another, shopping as a group, exploring and seeing what we can discover, and just generally hanging out with one another. All these people in here. Who needs every kind of PVC part in the world? Each one is individually bagged. It's kind of neato. It's funny, I remember because Bob and Robert He is a dot of life. And I remember when, at first, when they first started working together, so cute. Alrighty, that's it for me. I uh, bought myself a couple of walking dendros for, I think I'm gonna put them in the anemone cube. And uh, I'm gonna take an Uber home because the bus is going to one more store which is even further away from my house, and I really don't need that super long, expensive trip home. Because <laughs> in Texas, everything is really far away. All that's left now is to clean up the mess from our earlier toast.